Rosie. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, tagging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim's drawing book, the world of spy, the window frame, and Rosie and Jim we play our games. <coughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he writes them down. <laughs> Hello. I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life, and I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a fine day, so I'll begin with that. One fine day. And then I'll draw the river with two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. Right, I'll get my life jacket on. And today, I'm going to find something really interesting to put into a story. Because my book says that if I go along here a little way, I'll find a windmill. And that's really unusual. So I'll get the engine started and on my way. Rosie. Where are we going to, Jim? Now, at this windmill, I can buy some flour to make some bread. Iskog said he's going to take us to a bread place. Mm. That's good, isn't it, Rosie? Because we use up lots of Iskog's bread. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. It makes me feel really hungry. Do you know, I don't know where all the bread goes to on this boat. There wasn't even enough to make me a sandwich this morning. Quack, quack, little duck, come for your bread. Double in the water, now you're fed. <laughs> I can just see the windmill over there. That's the place where I can get some flour to make some bread. It'll be a good walk. Oh, a field full of wheat. That's what they make flour from. It's just about ripe. And I don't think the farmer will mind if I just take one piece, just to have a close look. And I'm going to rub it in my hands and have a good look. I could make bread with this, if I could turn it into flour. I'll get on my way to the windmill now. What a noggin. This doesn't look like bread, Rosie. No, bread comes from shops. Mm. <gasps> Quick, let's follow Fiskog. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. How do you do? Hello. My name's John. I'm Max. I'm the miller here. Oh, you're the miller? Yes. Just the man I want to see. I've been collecting some sample of... Uh, wheat as I came along through the field. Yes, yeah, so that's a nice sample. A little bit of chaff in there, but we could soon winnow that away with the wind. So, what do these sails do? Well, they catch the wind, and that drives round the sails, which turns the machinery within the mill. Oh, I see. These sails go round, and wheels go round inside. They do. And change wheat into flour. Into fine wholemeal flour. 
I'd love to see that. Well, why don't you come and have a look inside? Thank you very much. What did he say, Jim? I think he said he turned this wheat stuff into flour. Oh, oh what? Inside the windmill? Mm. <gasps> huh? Jim, what makes it go round? He said it was the wind that blows it round. Oh. <laughs> 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 The old windmill is turning round, round and round, round and round. The old windmill is turning round, blowing in the wind. <laughs> blowing it round. <laughs> well done. The wheat's now coming down the spout mm -hmm. and into the hopper. Oh, yes. Where does it go to next? From then on, it feeds into the millstones, mm -hmm. and rather like these stones, yeah. the wheat is cut up between the top stone and the bottom stone, mm -hmm. and that turns it into fine wholemeal flour. Oh, I see. If we yeah. go downstairs, we can see it coming into the mill. I'd love to see that. And here we've got a nice sack of wheat, just like the wheat that I found in the field. Yes, that's a good local wheat, which has been harvested, taken into the barn, mm -hmm. given a good walloping, then into the granary to dry, and now it's in a cracking good condition, it's ready for the mill. And it's inside the mill, ready to go upstairs, I believe, isn't yes, it? Yes, right? this is where we use the power of the wind again. By putting the sack into the miller's grip, we can take it up through the floors. Mm -hmm. Oh, goody! Lots more stuff! Rosie, <laughs> I think this stuff is the same stuff we found in the field. It's all, it's all nice and nibbly nubbly. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> hey, Jim, look down there a minute. Look what? down there, look. Look. Rosie, you talking? <laughs> it's all nibbly nubbly down by neck now. Tickly. That won't slip. And then we pull the rope and away it goes. Oh. Where are you now, Max? I'm up on the gallery, John, at the top of the mill. Uh-huh. And what are you up to? Well, the sack of wheat's come up and I'm going to tip it in the bin. Yes. And then it'll feed down through the millstones. And I'll see it coming down. You will indeed. Right, oh. Those look like footsteps across there, and they can't be ours because they're far too small. Yes, and they're far too large for mice. And they've made a terrible mess. They have, haven't they? Still, we'll soon clear that up. Could I buy some flour before I go? Yes, I'll be only too pleased to Thank serve you with some. Well, there you are, John. I hope that will make some lovely bread. Shall we, Jim? Goodness hey. me. What's going on? Snowing flour, isn't it? It can't be those mice. Oh, goodness me. Is it the wind in the... Something up there. I don't know. 
Anyway, thank you for a lovely look round. Right, well, it's a pleasure. You've been thank very you. welcome. Thank you. Bye bye. Goodbye. Tim, this is how Fizzgod makes bread, you know. Mm. He's been busy, hasn't he, Rosie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mix the flour, mix the flour, baker, Rosie. Knead the dough, knead the dough, baker, Jim. Pat it and shape it and squatchy, squidgy. And pop in the oven for Ducky and me. Mix the flour, mix the flour, baker, Shape it all squadgy, squidgy, and pop in the oven for Ducky and me. Right, I'll get my bread in the oven now. Let's have a look at it. Oh, look at that one. It looks like a duck, doesn't it? It's a funny shape. Anyway, how many have I got? One, two, three, four, and a duck. That makes five. Careful of the hot oven. And it goes. Well, that'll take about half an hour to bake. I know what I'll do whilst it's baking. I'll go and get some honey to eat with it. That'll be lovely. Pat a cake, Rosie. Yeah! <laughs> pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me some bread as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with D And pop in the oven for Ducky and me <laughs> Fizzgog's coming, we've pat the cake too long Come on, Jim! Mmm, <laughs> I've got a lovely jar of honey Hot brown bread and honey, that's what I'm looking forward to Mmm, lovely <laughs> No, then. Hey, only three. I'm sure I had four rolls. One, two, three, and a duck. Hmm, strange. <laughs> give it a honey. And then I can give it a try. Hmm, delicious. That's given me a really good idea for a story. So I'll get on with it. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One fine day. Rosie and Jim were travelling along on the old rag doll when they saw a big whizzy thing far across the fields. There's a giant waving to us, said Rosie. Let's go and see, said Jim. It wasn't a giant, it was a windmill with great sails whizzing round and round. There was a man in it. The man in the wind, said Rosie. The man in the wind gave them a bag of flour. Mix it with water, he said, and make anything you like. They made a little house with chairs and tables. The house began to grow until it was so big that Rosie and Jim could go into the house and sit at the table. Let's have a party, said Jim. The duck came and brought his friends. It was a cow, a sheep, a dog and a cat. They were all hungry. What shall we eat, said Jim. Noggin, said Rosie. There's nothing in the cupboard. The cow ate the walls, the sheep ate the chairs, the cat ate the chimney. It's all bread, Noggins, said Rosie. Soon there was only a pile of crumbs for the little birds that flew down. That's the end of our magic house, Fizzpot, said Rosie. Rosie and Jim went home to their boat. That was made of steel. No one could eat that. Rosie! Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, tagging along on the old red dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye! The 
Amen.